Well, if you've ever been frustrated by how difficult it can be to cancel memberships and subscriptions that you no longer want, you're going to want to listen to this because the feds have a new rule that you'll want to hear about. Consumer advocates call it the loop of doom, the endless runaround that comes when trying to cancel gym memberships, streaming services, or online subscriptions that customers no longer want, with some folks venting on TikTok. The amount of prompts, are you sure you want to cancel? Are you sure you don't want $10 off? How about 30% off? How about instead of $80, it's $20? How about no, I hit the cancel button? Velko Maluznik says quitting shouldn't be so hard. They're doing every possible thing to just hold on, and you're just like, no, we're done. You're trying to just push them off of you. It does feel like they're like clinging to your body. The Federal Trade Commission says it's received 16,000 complaints and counting from consumers who feel tricked and trapped. The principle here is quite basic. Um, no American should be stuck paying for a service that they no longer want. Today, the FTC announced new consumer protection rules requiring companies to provide customers with a simple mechanism to cancel a subscription and halt charges and obtain a customer's informed consent to the negative option, which assumes customer silence means they want to continue with their plan. Companies have to make it as easy to cancel the subscription as it is to sign up for one. This is crazy. This is insane. <laughs> well, to see the latest consumer stories, make sure to watch Michelle and the Money on 5 Plus. It airs every Friday right after the noon show on our 5 Plus app, and you can download the app for free on your phone's app store or find it on Roku, Amazon, or Apple TV.